Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to take you through the entire build of my home gym. I started by gluing the 2x6s together, which will end up being the four small pieces. I spread the glue evenly with a putty knife and then clamped them together. And here I'm just screwing them together to ensure strength. And then I just repeat the process for the 2 by 10 Now I'm cutting the four small posts to their final length. So now I'm just ripping the 2 by 10s in half on the table saw and ensuring that everything is at their final width. I decided to round the edges on all the pieces just so none of them are sharp. Now I'm using a hammer drill and a spade bit to drill all the holes. I decided to paint it purely for aesthetics, but it obviously adds to the entire cost of the build, so you don't have to do it, but I just thought it looked better. Once the paint had dried, I just used gusset angles and tie plates to fasten everything together. Once everything was assembled, I began the process of mounting it to the wall. I used three quarter inch ply and screwed it into the four studs so that I can just use more gusset angles to fasten it to the wall. So the bottom one ended up being a little weird. There happened to be no studs, so I just had to use drywall screws. To ensure accuracy, you just need to outline the corners while you're drilling the first holes so that after you put the anchors in, you can line it up with those marks and everything should line up perfectly. Once I got them mounted on the wall, I just painted them the same color as the wall, just to try to blend it in as much as possible. And here I'm just fastening everything to the wall using the same gusset angles. For the bullet bar, I used galvanized steel pipe and the end caps just to screw it into the wood. Here I was just testing it and everything was going fine until we brought the bar up to it and realized that they were spaced too far apart. Yeah, that kind of sucked. Fortunately, my brother's a welder, so he just had to cut about seven inches off and then welded it to one of the end caps and it all worked out.
To hold the bar up, I went with steel pipe, the end cap, and a floor flange. It's cheap and very easy to adjust. For the cable system, I just use these hooks to attach the pulleys. Now I'm just assembling the steel wire with all the hardware. So the bottom pulley was a little bit different because the steel wire was coming from above it. It had to be mounted to the wood. So I found this one on Amazon and it had holes so that it can be mounted. So for the bottom pulley to work, you need to loop one end of steel wire, attach it to the top one, cut the other end to whatever length you like, and then loop it while it's through the pulley. I decided to make all the attachments on my own just to save a little bit of money. So I just grabbed the thickest dowel that I could at the hardware store and cut that to length. I just used an eye bolt right in the middle and a nut to cap it on the other side and it was good. So this is a loading pin. It's what holds all the weight. I just use the steel pipe, an end cap, and a floor flange. To attach it to the steel wire, I just used uh, another eye bolt. When drilling into metal, you just need to use a metal bit and oil so that it doesn't overheat. Once I got my hole in, I just used a nut to secure it to the end cap. And with that, that's pretty much it. I just went over it with one more coat of paint and this is the result.